I can create a PowerPoint presentation complete with text, pictures, and presenter's notes in no time at all. Let me show you how I do it. When I open PowerPoint, I see a single slide displayed to start a presentation. The slide has two placeholders for text, indicated by boxes with dotted borders. On the left, on the Slides tab, is a thumbnail image of the slide. To create a title slide for the presentation, I click the placeholder text, which then disappears, and I type my title. I press Enter to start a new line, and then type the second line of my text. I click the second placeholder box, and then type a subtitle, again pressing Enter to start each new line. Notice that the text I've typed in the slide displays in the thumbnail also. That's all I want on the first slide. To add a new slide, I can just go to the Home tab, and in the Slides group, I click here, in the top portion of the New Slide button. Notice that this slide's layout looks different from the first slide. This is the default layout for slides that follow the title slide. It's set up for a title, a bulleted list, or other content such as pictures, charts, and media, which we'll talk about in a moment. I type a title in the title placeholder, and then click in the second placeholder to add text to the first bullet point. I create a bulleted list by pressing Enter at the end of each bullet point. To create a second level bullet, I press Tab before typing the text. Because there are additional things I'll want to say as I present, I click under the slide where it says Click to Add Notes and type my notes there. I can click this split bar and drag it up so I can see more of the notes pane as I type. I can print out these notes and refer to them when I give a presentation. Let's go back to the slide content. Sometimes I want to start with a different layout. Then I click the arrow on the New Slide button to see my choices. Notice that the first slide used the title slide layout, and the second slide used the layout called Title and Content. For the next slide, I click the Content with Caption layout. Here, content means graphics, such as charts, pictures, clip art, and media files. The caption refers to any text you want that explains the content. I enter the title and text in the placeholders. To add a picture, I just click the icon in the middle of the slide that says Insert Picture from File. I find the picture file I want on my computer and click Insert. And there it is. I can resize the picture and keep its size proportional by dragging from the corner. And I can reposition it on the slide. Notice the Picture Tools tab, which appears whenever I click the picture. I can use the tools here to reset the picture to its original size, frame it, or crop it. Now here's a way I can save myself some work when creating slides. I click the Home tab, and then click the arrow on the New Slide button again. At the bottom of the Slide Layout Gallery, I click Reuse Slides to add slides I've already created in another presentation. In the Reuse Slides pane, I click the Browse arrow, and then click Browse File to locate the presentation containing the slides I want. PowerPoint displays thumbnails for the slides in the presentation I've selected, and zooms in on the individual slides when I point to them. When I find a slide I want to reuse, I click it to add it to my current presentation. When I'm done, I click the Close button to close the Reuse Slides pane. You'll notice I now have several slides in my presentation. I can easily move from one to another by clicking thumbnails of the slides on the Slides tab. But the slides don't look very interesting. So I click the Design tab to see what I can do about that. In the Themes group, I see that the first thumbnail, labeled Office Theme in the screen tip, is selected. When I point to other thumbnails, I see a preview of how the slide would look using different themes, which are collections of design elements, including background design, color schemes, and font types and sizes. I can scroll through the themes, checking out previews, or display all the themes at once. When I find the one I want to use, I click it. Notice that the selected slide and all the other slides in the show reflect the change. So there you have it. Maximum results with minimum effort. You come up with the content, and PowerPoint does the rest.